Hey folks, it's a man once again. And <clears throat> sorry about the lighting. It's too bright. No, ah, maybe that's it. <clears throat> of course, as you probably all well know, this is my last review of the Anaconda films. Now these all the reviews for all these sequels may be uploaded the same time. But believe me, they were not done the same day. <laughs> Tell me why I'll get through this. <clears throat> I mean, the recap, I liked the first Anaconda a lot. I saw it in the movie theater. The second, got into a movie theater. It was an okay time waster, but nothing to run home about, really. <clears throat> the third one, Sci-Fi Channel with David Hasselhoff, is fucking awful. This one is more of the same. I mean... Pretty much Anaconda 3 and 4 were directed back to back. I would have to assume it was back to back because <clears throat> it's directed by the same guy, Don E. Fontoroy, who did Anaconda 3. Stars the same girl, Crystal Allen, who again was in part 3. Also has John Reese Davies, who was in part 3. I think mean, Crystal Allen has just done a lot of TV work. Prison Break, Desperate Housewives, stuff like that. And it's once again, this was on the Sci Fi Channel, like Part 3, and it has the same problems as Part 3. <coughs> just one of those things that I'm not sure what more I can bring to, like, what I ranted on Part 3 Offspring with David Hasselhoff. Uh, thankfully, this is the last of the Anaconda films because if they were made like the first one, I wouldn't have a problem. But because they're made to this, where this film takes place after part three, where the guy grabbed his baby Anaconda, experimented on it, so thus now it went on to this great size. You like you test the snake's head off, use the serum, it grows bad, so now the snake can regenerate. So now it's pretty much fucking like Jason Voorhees and shit. It cannot die. It will regenerate. <clears throat> now as a B movie way, if you had good special effects or a good cast or a good production value or a good budget, maybe it'd be like a fun B movie type of flip, but of course, it's not. And I love how the guy like, one time says, you know, about the black orchid. Now, I could have sworn this was called the blood orchid. A, because it's red. It's not black. And plus, the title of the second movie was The Hunt for the Blood Orchid. But I swear, this guy calls it the black orchid. I'm like, was that a fucking... Was that a mess up that they didn't catch? What the fuck? Like, why are you calling a black orchid when it's not black, it's red, and all the other stuff says it's a blood orchid? But that's the flower that, kind of like the fauna youth, regenerates tissue. Because John Reese davies is this millionaire billionaire who's died and he wants the serum so he can still keep going. But of course the CGI Anaconda escapes and attacks the guy and kills him as we think. So John Reese davies hires another guy to go find the serum um, and kill the girl if she finds him. And the girl towards Crystal Allen, who goes in with two cops, only two cops. I guess they're cops. You don't really know much about them, but just goes in with two guys. Then you have a hiker who's just there for the fuck of it. And then you have a group of scientists, I think they're kind of like archaeologists, going to a base camp that some of their friends were at but they couldn't get in contact. One of them has to be Lyndon Ashby of the group. Johnny Cage from the first Mortal Kombat. And to be honest, that's the only thing I liked about this movie was Lyndon Ashby. It's, oh shit, that's Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. I like Lyndon Ashby. I wish he could have gotten more stuff. I know he did a film Probably crappy, but it's called Blast, kind of like Die Hard, but it's like Die Hard at a swimming pool. But 
by Albert Pune. I'd see it if I had a chance, but it's, I don't know. I mean, I like Lyndon Ashby, so. <clears throat> So you basically have four groups. You have a hiker, and then he meets up with the girl who has two tops. You have Lyndon Ashby and his group of scientists, archaeologists, going to a campsite. They don't know nothing. And then you have the bad guys. The hiker meets up with the lead girl, Crystal Allen. One leads to know they're in a, a mine shaft. The other two cops get killed. She gets knocked out. He goes up. Hiker goes up to his car, forgets, knows now he forgot the fucking keys. Uh, Lyndon Ashby goes up to his campsite, sees dead bodies, you know, body parts, goes back, tells them. They're like, oh, it's too far back. We need to keep going to that campsite. And he's like, what, you don't believe me? Like, uh, Sam, I agree with Lyndon Ashby. Like, you don't believe me? You don't I'm telling you, there were dead bodies and body parts. Then when he gets there, they're gone. For some reason, <clears throat> but the, like his other guys, his other fellas is like, no, we've gone too far. We have to go back. I'm like, go too far, dude. You're going to a campsite that someone you probably trust told you there are dead bodies and body parts. Bullshit. Oh, it's too far back. No, it's not. It made me, oh my god, I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? So I'm a little bit under the weather, that's why I'm not yelling so much. But then his, uh, Lyndon Ashby's gal gets bit by this spider and has venom, it's not poisonous. But basically they cut a little piece of her neck, it's not much. And what's funny is that, Lynn Ashby and there's two other guys that don't go to this, I guess, the site, the dig. And they leave the girl with another girl. So you leave the two girls at a campsite that Lynn Ashby told them they were dead body parts. And I'm like, so one girl's poisonous and another girl you guys leave behind at a campsite that you. Body parts, okay. As if, you know, whoever did that couldn't come back. So, of course, they go to that side and they find more dead bodies. Go fucking figure. <laughs> and basically, Lane Nashby and his two boys meet up with Crystal Allen and her hiker friend. They meet up together. One of Lane Nashby's buddies, I guess, tries to be a fucking hero, runs up and shoots at the snake, doesn't do shit. He just. You think killed, but then shows up later, only did shot by the bad guy. And I love how they're running, and she tells him, split up. And I'm like, split up? <laughs> Why are you guys splitting up? Why did she, you say that, bitch? And then, of course, the bad guys grab them after a little bit of running. <laughs> And the bad guys shoot, like, again, two of their friends. The one guy you thought was dead, they shoot him. And this other, the other girl, not the girl that was poisoned, the other girl, they shoot. So they had Krista Allen and one of Lyndon Ashby's buddies with two bad guys to go find the serum. They do. One guy gets bit, gets eaten. The other bad guy, he, like, does one of those, like, kamikaze does this, is ready to kill himself, but the snake fucks off. It's like, whoops. <laughs> Blows up in a CGI stupid explosion. Then the other guy with Lint Crystal Island stays to save her. So the snake goes for him and he gets killed. The girl gets back. John Reese Davies goes there, gets there at that place and the bad guy of course the guy at the beginning who you thought was eating he's still alive somehow I have no fucking idea how and the bad guy turns close on John Reese Davies and is going to work with that guy who was at the beginning of the film but then Lyndon Ashby is a badass has a knife stabs one 
And that guy shoots the guy from the beginning, so he, now he's truly dead. Then he actually beats the fuck out of the guy. I'm like, yeah, alright. Fuck him up, Johnny Cage. Um, there's another bad guy, and Crystal Allen comes in with two guns, shoots the shit out of him. Prior to Blood Squibs, which is funny, because this is a film from 2009, and you had Blood Squibs, but yet they can't do that for a movie. You know, a, a theatrical film. But here's 2009, they could do it for a sci-fi channel. I don't get that. I really don't. And John Reese Davis has a gun. It's like, okay, give me the serum, I'll let you go. They do. John Reese Davis takes it. All right, I'm fine. So, of course, the States grabs him and bites his head off. CGI. They get in the Jeep. The lead bad guy who Giant Cage beat the shit out of gets on the back of their Jeep. Um, Lynn Ashby fights him. Fights him. The girl puts some shit in his eyes, kits him off. Before, you know, pulling the pin, the grenades on the guy's vest. <clears throat> so, of course, that guy blows up along with the snake. <clears throat> and they think it's over. And they drive off. And I'm like, wait a minute, the snake. There was another scene before that the snake got, you know, hit. Like, it grabbed, like, a knapsack or whatever with grenades and she shot at it and it blew its head off and then we see it regenerate so I'm like <clears throat> it's pretty much the same fucking thing why should we assume that it's dead so of course as it go off you have the CGI snake Anaconda kinda looks at the camera and slithers away I know this is a half-assed review but you know what this is a half-assed movie this is a movie that it's Anaconda f it's called Anaconda's Trail of Blood. It's also called Anaconda 4 Trail of Blood, so that's what I'm going to call it. It's just, it's one of those films that just, you watch it, you know, what's the point? You know, I mean... It was a bat-to-bat -bat sequel with a part three with David Hasselhoff. <clears throat> you have now a, one and a CGI Anaconda, pretty much all CGI. There's not even an attempt at anything practical with the snake. <clears throat> Crystal Allen, I did not give a fuck about her character, let alone the actress in part three or this one. The action scenes are beyond lackluster. I didn't know there was any humor in this film or anything remotely funny in this film or You have the idea of a snake that can regenerate, but they don't really do that much with it anyway. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> Mainly, it's just like a bunch of people wandering, wandering around, and by about halfway through the film, they get together, and it's like nothing much to it. I don't even know what else to say about the film. It's just it's as boring as. Like the previous film, it was poorly received for low budget special effects, weak plot, and wooden acting. But it received better reviews than Anaconda 3. Well, I guess if I had to pick, I probably could get through this more than Anaconda 3 because at least this film had Lyndon Ashby and he was fine. Lyndon Ashby was good, as you know. I like him as an actor, but he was fine. You know, it's just the film that sucked. The film around him that sucked. I don't even know what else to say. I mean, I sort of getting a headache now talking about this fucking movie. Anyway, the movie sucks ass. I mean, of course, what do you expect? Any kind of four trail of blood. There's nothing really to it yet. Yeah, people doing stupid decisions. Um, oh, there's a uh, body parts in this camp. 
oh, we've gone too far. We might as well, st you know, fucking stay here. I'm like, really? Anyway, it, it's a useless film. It's a useless sequel. Useless franchise. I mean, Anaconda, I liked Anaconda, the first one a lot. Did not need a franchise. Did not need a franchise. But anyway, this film is worthless. And, of course, bad special effects. Not even attempted practical snake effects. Just the rest of the acting is really wooden. Except Blitton Ashby, he was fine. The plot offered nothing. The location, nothing much to the location, it's just it's in the woods. Pretty much it. Action scenes. Once while you have a guy shooting at a CGI snake, grabs it. Say grabs him or you know, eats him or grabs him. Pretty much it. I mean, if I had, yeah, I'd probably say part three was probably a little bit gore, even though most of it was CJ blood. But part three had some bloody after the effect blood, practical gore, like people's remains. And then this one, I liked Lyndon Ashby. That's the only good thing I could say. And there's so many other films you could watch that have better stuff going for them. But anyway, that's and I kind of four. So I just want to get this over with. But either way, thanks for watching. Take care. Fuck this movie.